Well, September 17th, personally, for me, was a little bit of a wake-up call. That's how this game is played, and uh, you know, it's either you hit or you get hit. September 17th, you know, the, the team did not do that well. Um, I'm not going to sit here and kind of figure and analyze why that was. I'm going to focus on now. It's the new team, different mindset, different athletes, new cohesiveness. Uh, this league is serious. It's the real deal. These girls hit, and they hit hard, and they like to hit. And uh, you know what, if you can't take it, then this isn't the place for you. Um, I'm not thinking about Toronto, I'm not as far as their issues, who's on this team, what person is what position, whether they're new, where they come from. We are very, very focused on what we, are, we come out here to do today. And Toronto is just a stepping stone as we move forward in our season. We're, re we're ready, we're going hard. Toronto hasn't seen anything yet. They think, you know, Baltimore charm, they're one and one, but we have another thing coming for them tonight. Everybody's watching. Everybody's watching because they think eight days is not enough. So we have something to prove. We've been working hard and we're going to show everybody that it's been enough. We're ready. It doesn't matter who we're playing. We could be playing Philly, we could be playing Tampa. It doesn't matter. Baltimore Tribes ready to play. We got ourselves ready and we don't care who's on that field tonight. Going into this game, I mean, I know my mindset was I'm taking on the team that's the best in the East, regardless of if they have new players, veteran players, whatever they have. They're the best team that we're going up against. And we're ready to show what we can do. So you're in for a treat tonight. Stay tuned. Hey, Toronto, guess what? You're stepping out on the field tonight for the first time. You have no idea what LFL football is like, but we're ready to bring it, and you're going down tonight. One, two, three, ten! All right, let's lace them up. Can Toronto overcome adversity, or will Baltimore put itself in strong position for the franchise's first playoff berth? Kickoff, coming up next. Here we go, baby. Paul will get it under some pressure, steps oh up. Oh my goodness! Oh, How do you do? Hello, Toronto. Motion goes to the right side, and give it to the motion back, and she's gonna get in, touchdown. Hey, Stacy Moon at quarterback, hands off to DeHaven. Look at her, just cut up the field. Touchdown, Kyle DeHaven. Travolsi and Bonzek in the backfield behind Paul. Give goes to the second back, and she runs into Kyle DeHaven. Oh! We're at halftime. Cover three. We need BD. What the? F I was on the right spot. We get BD down the middle. We can't have. We should be smoking the ass. Here's the second half kickoff. Kyle DeHaven will take it about four yards deep. Brings it out across the five, to the 10, oh! to the 20. Look out, she's gone. 15, 10, five, DeHaven into the end zone, but we have a flag. We have a flag. Kyle DeHaven with two great moves takes it to the house, but this is gonna go against uh, Baltimore. Hand off to DeHaven, look at her go. She's to the 15, 10, five, touchdown. Now she'll fade back, Paul looking long, steps up, throws, and this one is great intercepted. Catch. What a great catch in the second. Intercepted near the end zone, and we got a clip. Forget the return, it looks great, but there is a clip. Charlie Jackson with a terrific interception. Pass is complete, oh, what a hit out of the 20-yard line. Pitch goes back, here's that double throw, looking long, looking into the end zone, it is caught by the Haven, touchdown! Final score tonight from Rico Coliseum. Baltimore wins it 42 to six. And we got Kyle DeHaven, stands by Tommy with our Lauren Gardner. Lauren. Go ahead, Lauren. Hey guys, Lauren Gardner alongside Baltimore Charms MVP, Kyle DeHaven. What is your message to the fans about the Baltimore Charm? You better watch out. You guys were sleeping on us before, so now look at us now. Canada is the best. Woo! LFL Toronto Triumph, number five, Katarina Macedo, number one. indicative to what we're capable of and uh, you know for a team that's been together for about six days I think this shows that we mean business and we're gonna make it happen here. We put our hearts out on that field and we're gonna do it again.